Living in the city, it's a pity, but it's getting me down. Holding out, hey day, it's the only way to get out of town. Some of us are bound to get restless in this confusion. I'm on the edge crazy Though my lady says it's just an illusion Fantasy man The world not quite the way that I planned I close my eyes to see And it's killing me I don't know where I am Fantasy man Well, come on, I'll be late for my hair. Oh, I don't make any for me today. I'll be going out for lunch. I thought we'd agreed to save every cent we could. Oh, come on. We're not totally broke. I'm not saying we are. It's the way you've been behaving lately. Locking yourself in the bathroom. I have to take that lock off. Well, I don't know why. Are you going insane? Well, maybe it's good. Ooh. You'll be late. You never used to be late for anything. Yeah, you're right. <clears throat> A lofty's gonna rip into me again. Sandwiches. I go to a lot of trouble and I've tried something new. Thanks. Gotta go. <laughs> well? Well, what? What's going on? <laughs> you know, it's a long time since I've seen you laugh. since you've been funny. What's he done now? I can't get through to him. I can't figure him out. You can't? You're not married to him. Not like me and Keith. That was open and shut. See you later. What happened to us? Not to me and Nick. Oh, I'll help you clean your teeth. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. 
There he is, right again. He was counting on getting Carter's job. Any the other chances? He should take the line, not the rest of us. Look out, here comes Lofty. Oh. I set your desk up. Thanks. He didn't see me. He did so. He's creeping around, playing the big white hunter again. Oh, is that right? Hurry. Where is he? About halfway. Right. Where's Wonderboy? Right here, Mr. Loftus. I see. Oh, that's better. You're not going to tell us that you are in time, are you? I wouldn't dream of it, Mr. Loftus. Oh, that mob call back yet? Oh, uh, yes, they did, as a matter of fact. Oh, good, good. Oh, it's all rush, 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 you know. Your life is one big rush these days, isn't it, Mr. Bailey? Rushing towards a precipice, aren't we? That right? Very interesting. And that precipice is getting very, very near. I've got to get out of this job. Herd cattle, mine coal, anything. <sighs> what a man be if he didn't have his dreams. Oh, boy, what a great start to the week. So we agreed not to have kids yet. At the time, it made sense. I had a job we really saved. And then the recession. Now I'm 34. Christ, I am 34. And out of a job. And now this. You don't think he's sneaking out, you know, seeing another woman? No. I know he loves me. How do you know? I feel loved. Ah, oh, yeah. <gasps> Especially when he locks himself in the bathroom. No. No, when he's quiet and we're alone. He's affectionate, just like he always is. When the sun comes up, boom, something happens to him. When it first started, I wanted to get a doctor. It's, it's as if he becomes somebody else. There's a kind of tension that doesn't make sense. You're not making much sense either. What if he was taking drugs or hitting the bottle? Something I could see. Oh, maybe I just have to get used to it. Get used to what? <sighs> this job. The little box we live in. Oh, everything. I played through my life and what have I done? School, played football, sat for exams. Eating a thousand tons of food. Had a couple of women, got married to one of them. Got a job so I could get more money, so I could buy more food, so I could produce a half a ton of sewerage a year. Big deal. <laughs> quiet, Nick, quiet. Talk about it at lunchtime. Oh, I don't want to talk about it at lunchtime. Anyway, going for a long walk. See if I can get my head in gear. I've got it. What? He's cracking up. Well, what from? His job's boring. <sighs> no, there's a kind of impatience and a frustration. What's he got to be frustrated about? Not enough, um... No, I already told you. Well, not as frequently. See? Got to be something. No. It's something else.
There you go. So. Now, the usual? Uh, oh, yeah, thanks. So, a steak sandwich with fried onions, right? You got a good memory. What, are you kidding? It's been a steak and onions for a couple of weeks now. Yeah, I guess it has. Nice to be remembered, eh? Oh, yeah. Leave him alone, Max. Looking great today, Lana. Hey, how'd you like to push your face into some of that? Look, Max, do you want to take your business elsewhere? Oh, I'll like them like that. Sweaty. I do. Sweaty and angry. Yeah, well, so do you be if you're stuck in here five hours a day. I know salt and pepper, thanks. Yeah, I know, I know. I guess a couple of those for you, love. Hey, what do you reckon? <sighs> Look, just drop it, will you? What's the matter? Wife knocking your back. What'd you say? Nothing. Max! Look, I'll call Stacy. Pen pusher, are you? G'day, stalker. And what are you doing here so early, huh? Been on the pills again, me old son. Hey, can't. <laughs> cut it out. <laughs> G'day, Donna. G'day, how are you? Well, listen, we got a bloke here. He doesn't appreciate a bit of the real thing. You wouldn't have the real thing if you fell over it. What? Four pies, thanks, lovey. Four pies? What, are you on a diet again, are you? There you go. Don't you worry about him. It's a dollar eighty. Looks like you'll want a bit of a heart there. Yeah. Yours. Take it or leave it, mate. With an old lady like yours. No wonder. <laughs> <laughs> Betty? If you like a drink. Hey? One bottle of scotch and lawn bowl. Congratulations. But, uh... She's had a tough day, too. Hey, Betty, I appreciate your interest, but... I've never interfered before. Yeah, well, let's just keep it like that, eh? Look, Betty, at least know one thing. What? I care about her, okay? We go back a long way. Hello? Hi. Yeah. Hope you don't go blind reading it. Needle crafts. You like it? Costs money, doesn't it? Hey, wait a minute. Does it have an index? My paintings. You've been moving my paintings around. If you want to know, I've been trying to work out which ones to leave up and which ones to take down. Take down? What do you mean, take down? Oh, you've had a crack at this, I see. What did you use, a garden rake? So much for your screwdriver. Leave it alone. And as far as my paintings go... I was just trying to brighten things up a bit. We'll have another go at getting a job. Oh, I can't. It's too depressing. I've already been for seven interviews, isn't it? Yeah. Anyway, you can't just throw them out. You can't have it both ways. If you can turn into a weirdo, baby, then so can I. Oh, just like that, eh? <laughs> I thought you liked my paintings. Even proud, you said. Keep your voice down. Let's just store some of the paintings for a while. For me. Yeah, but what about me? God, everything's the same. <sighs> same old thing. What's that got to do with the decor of this room? I want to change too. We owe Betty that money. Have you still got a $10 note? What for? 
Well, we owe a tenant. She's home at the moment. All right. I think I've got about five bucks. Been buying more junk food, I see. Hey? What's the matter? Aren't my sandwiches good enough? What are you on about? <gasps> We're trying to save, aren't we? That's why we haven't started a family yet, isn't it? I bet you buy that stuff every day. You add it up, it comes to quite a bit each week. Oh, I like it! If you want more to eat for lunch, it's cheaper for me to cut more sandwiches. On, Rick. No more junk food, huh? I mean, you're always going on at me about the cost of cosmetics. Nick, are you listening to me? Nick! Nick, will you answer me? <sighs> Nick! Look, let's just leave some of the paintings up, okay? Answer me! Come out of there when I'm talking to you. I'm just having a shower. Oh, that's the trouble. This is getting to me, Nick. Yeah, well, I've had a bastard of a day. Well, tell me about it. Don't just cut me off. She's obviously feeling it too. It happens. Both of you need a break. Or find something different. Just like that. What, eh? Change jobs? Now, it's hard enough to get a damn job in the first place. Poor kid, she's been trying to get one for months. And change homes. You've almost paid off the apartment, haven't you? But you've still got to buy another place that's inflated in cost. <clears throat> Add to that the legal fees and bang, you're behind. Oh. Miles behind. We're not talking about money, Nick. We're talking about a change. Happiness for you and Liz. How come you know so much about marriage? You've been single all your life. It doesn't take too much to find out about what married life is like. Hearing about it is bad enough, if you know what I mean. Oh, now look who's being cynical. Look, we both know you need a break. So why not move into the spare room at my place for a week or so? I mean, me and Liz? Just... Hey, hey, that's a bit heavy. Nobody's talking about splitting up, Howie. I'm not talking about splitting up either. Just a short break. It's tidy, quiet. We get on. Give you time to think. Talk. We can work it so when you get back to Liz, you've got something really worthwhile to say. And leave Liz all alone. Oh, thanks, Howie. Look, you'll be near to Liz and work. I only live virtually down the road. Well, send Liz over for a while. I'll talk to her. Hey. Eh? Uh, look, thanks, Howie. You're a good friend, but... Um... You know what? What? You're mad and I'm not? You're trapped by social attitudes, just like all the fellas in here, afraid to try something different. It sickens me. Oh, thanks. You're just wasting away your lives, the whole lot of you. If I knew I was going to get a lecture. Nick, hey, I'm sorry. Still in the poo, eh? Oh, he'll be all right. It's amazing. Whenever he's gloomy, the whole place dies in the bum. 
You're right. Now yeah, look what you've done. Mother Hen's upset one of her checks. Hey. Hey, where you go, you big fairy? You are and always will be an ignorant red-necked ocker. Howard, come on, he's only kidding. <sighs> Next time I'll crush your bloody skull. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you get AIDS. <laughs> Don't do it! Don't jump! <laughs> you really have to pull yourself together. I was just thinking I'd like to get away for a while. Away from this box. What a wonderful idea. I'll come too. Do I pack? No, it hasn't come to that yet. I thought I might pop down and have a look at the new shops in the village. I might see if they've got any cheap wallpaper. Look, it won't solve anything. You'll get no satisfaction. Oh, don't you believe it? Not in the long run. Look, you said try something different. <laughs> Liz? Look, I, I just don't believe it. Stephen. How amazing. Ah, uh, this is Betty. Betty, this is Stephen. Hi. Are you shopping? Uh, well, it's, um... It's mine. Really? Um... Are you in a rush? No. No. Did you ever marry that bloke? Yes. Well, are you still teaching? Well, I can get a job. Any children? No, not a one. <laughs> no, not yet. I only wanted some wallpaper. What about you? We must, um... I'd, I'd like to talk to you. What do you think of the place? Now, yours is a steak sandwich with onions. Yes, thanks. Uh, can I change that? What? Uh, can I change that? Yeah, of course you can. What's the matter? You're off meat today. Dollar eighty, thanks. Great. So, what's it going to be? See you tomorrow. Uh, a hamburger? Original. Onions too? Yeah. Sorry. Oh. Two twenty. Thank you. Tough, eh? Yeah. So's the job. Now you know the boss is always checking up on me, it drives me up the wall. I'm sorry to hear that. And my boss is the same. But then everybody's getting at me. Oh? So we have something in common. Well, I guess you could oh, say. Oh, hey, that... look at that Max fellow yesterday. You know the one giving you a hard time? You don't want to worry about him. Ah, uh, not worried about him at all, frankly. Well, oh, for a minute there, I thought it was going to be all on, you know. I really love, love the way you make hamburgers. Hey? Oh, you haven't tried me on yet. Huh? Hamburgers. You've been having steak sandwiches every day till now. Have I? Anyway, how come all of a sudden you want a hamburger instead of a steak sandwich? Bit of a funny one, aren't you? Sorry. I didn't mean to. Hey, it's okay. It's all right. Listen, you're going to like my hamburger just as much as you like my steak sandwich. Am I? Good day. 
Four or five, thanks, love. Yeah, the sauce freak. Yeah, plenty of sauce. No sauce, though. Sorry, waiting on a delivery. No sauce? Yeah, I got 50, thanks. Thank you. Like. I'm just going to eat it. I'll eat it when I feel like it, if you don't mind. I'll try it here. Excuse me, I'll go and check out that kitchen shop. Thanks for the coffee. Pleasure. Sit down. I'm coming back. Don't be long. <laughs> the answer's no. <laughs> it wouldn't be a good idea. Not even a civilized lunch. Oh, come on, Steve. Lunch? You can pick the place, you can pick the day. Let's make a deal. All right. I hope I don't regret this. You arranged to have this wallpaper put up by this afternoon, and it's a date. Uh, this afternoon? There he is. You're not still on about him. Lofty on his way. Oh, come on, Howie. Stop giving me a hard time. I warned you. Warned me? Besides being back late again, you obviously didn't make out. Makes me feel different. And I blew it. I could have won her and I blew it. If you don't wake up to yourself, you silly cow, you're going to lose Liz and your job. Ah, everything's the same. Everything stays the same unless you do something about it. Only do it in the right direction. Celebrate. It's nothing to celebrate, believe me. Well, you know, I've sort of been thinking, you know, suddenly realizing. Ah.
I packed up your paintings nice and safe. Don't you just love it? My paintings. Well, if you're worried about the cost, don't be. They gave us a discount. Well, I told you about it the other day. You don't like it. Nick, I had to change it in here. I'd go mad. Nick! me that. What about telling me the rest of it? No, you can't. I've had the lock taken off. You're crazy! Let's talk about it, okay? You said you realized something. I want to help. <sighs> Hamburgers and... Hey, you haven't tried me on yet. How often do you see your children? When she lets me. Oh, but I think you should... I know, I know. She's supposed to give me every alternate weekend with them, but she just... Well, I wouldn't let her get away with it. Well, you know me. Anything to, uh, to avoid a scene. Yes. You always were very gentle and reliable. Uh, Liz, don't worry about it. It'll be okay. You see, if, um, if you stay uptight, he'll just pick up the vibes. It'll make him worse. I know, but it's hard. Um, look, I've never been a type to interfere. Now, I never could. And I don't want anyone to think they've got something I want or that I'd ever stoop to. I know what you're going to say. <laughs> you see? <sighs> see if... Uh, <clears throat> if there was only a way a man could really say what he's uh, thinking, um, say what he's feeling, but this, all this, well, it, it just gets in the way. Well, say it. Stuff society. I want to share something with you again, Liz. Well, what do you, how do you feel about that? How do I feel? How do I feel? My relationship with Nick is at a delicate stage at the moment. It's taken me years to get used to him. I don't want to give up all that without a try. And if ever I entertain somebody else, I'd have to go through it all again. Uh, so get, get used to what? To see if I could get used to another man, or that a man could get used to me for that matter. Right now, I, I'm just too afraid to take the risk, and I... I feel unsure.
Stephen. I'm not sure of anything at the moment. But if ever I decide to alter my life, I'll let you know. Is that fair? Yes. Yes. That's fair. Hey, Donna. Lover boy's here. Okay, lover boy. Max, shut up and pay up. I'm still after a crumpet, huh? Max! Yeah, with onion. Watch it. With onion? Thank you. Hey, you! I bet none of you ever asked her out, eh? You come here every day and stand around like three-legged morons, perving, but none of you have got the guts to say, right, O'Donnell, we're going out tonight. You're all gutless wonders, aren't you? Well, have they? Any of these perverts ever asked you out? No. You're all talk. Ah, you watch this, buddy. You just watch this. Donna, you and I are going out to dinner sometime. What do you say? Well, I don't know. I mean, I've got other things. <laughs> but I asked her, didn't I? I actually asked her. Who cares? Better watch out, love. You might catch something terrible. <laughs> what a twit! <sighs> What's got into you today? I'm sorry. But I'm not sorry, if you know what I mean. Now, if the boss knew about this... God, jobs are hard enough. Who's DJ? Who do you think? Huh? But... I don't believe it, eh? Yeah, neither do I. But they're good. <laughs> they're really good. Well, I'd never have thought. Acrylic, eh? Oh, it's all right. It's just a hobby, you know. Do you, um... Uh, do you do them in one go, or... Like I do, you know, slave over them? You paint? I do. No, it's a good one. I do, believe me. It's the only thing that I really... Well, I, I just like it. No expert, no. Yeah, but... yeah well, well, last month I sold one. <laughs> so I did a few more, but the teacher reckons there's no perspective. But there is. There is. There's perspective there. Who is this teacher? Now, salt and pepper. Uh, what? Salt and pepper. Oh, yeah. Um, how do you uh, get to classes if you work here every day? You ever had night classes? Well? Of course. Expensive? Four dollars a go. Oh, that sounds great. I could do with some help. Dollar eighty. Classes very far? Well, from where? Here. High school at the junction, Tuesdays and Thursdays. That's fantastic. I reckon I might crash, eh? A bit keen, aren't you? Oh, now, wait a minute. If you think I'm trying to cramp your style, then forget it. Suit yourself. I mean, maybe you're another Van Gogh. How would I know? That's right. How would you know? How would anybody know? What time? Seven. Hey. I paid, didn't I? You're just having me on about dinner. Don't rush me, eh? Where'd you put my paint box? It's in there. Open your eyes. I am. 
I'm going to be late. Thanks to you hiding my gear. I don't know why you're going anyway. You know we can't afford it. Are you carrying on? You think this was your first exhibition? Oh, how would you feel if I said you stay at home and do without your class of overweight hippos? Uh, I'm not that overweight, am I? Oh, at last! Come on, Liz, hurry up. You're carrying on like a love-struck adolescent. Ooh! I, uh, I don't like the idea of art classes, OK? I mean... You have not fed will up you, my will, will you stop this? We are not in a rush. Well, I've got to be there by seven. I'm going to drop you off on the way. But I'll have to hang around there at night on my own. Oh, come on. This is crazy. Why you have to go to art classes the same night as my gym, I just don't know. Oh, let's move it. Oh, come on, Elizabeth. You're as slow as a wet wheat. Oh, that's not fair. You don't forget anything. You've got a memory like a sieve. Slow down. You're going too fast. I'm not. It's just that it's a small car. Just go out. Now, don't forget, 9.30, and don't be late. See you later. 9.30! Come on! Come on! Fucking a rush, not with a model and that you're done. As I keep reiterating and reiterating you, your brushes correctly. Lead with the brush. Don't shove it, Sonny. Lead. Get to know your basic colours. Otherwise, you'll end up with a mud pie. And I will spank anyone who produces a mud pie in my class. Haven't they got the bloody street lights around here? Now. Remember this time, as we were doing last week, without the use of mirrors, an impression of yourselves to be continued. Come on, come on, come on. You all have a basic idea of yourselves. At least let's find out what it's all about. Are we expecting any late arrivals? Ah, blank caps, as I see. For a minute, you sounded like the messenger Mercury with a club foot. <laughs> If it's art lessons you are seeking, then you are late. You are two weeks late. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. I'll pay now if you like. All right. Sit down, sit down. I'll get around to that later. At least you're interested. Uh, That's I mean, something. Interested, all right. Name? Um, uh, Bailey, Nicholas Bailey. Uh, uh, I'm not all that good, you know. Oh, it's all right. All we want of you is an impression of yourself. Anything will do. Anything. But uh, I only do landscapes. So does everybody else. Anybody can do landscapes. Sorry. An impression of yourself. Please. Come on, come on. That is absolute rubbish, boy. You've been sh shoving your brush. You have so he's the one who reckons you don't have any perspective. There's perspective there. Well, he's the expert. I find this out from Already framed too. Well, it was on the wall at home. You don't like it anymore. The transfer is not bad. I guess not. Nicholas, painting is done with a brush. Not the time. Now, the thing 
thing is here, I find the true essence that comes from deep down in your bowels. It's, it's got to surge up from your essential essence of life. The, the life-giving force that comes out of you. Image, you see yourself as a form of Eve, I think, in the Garden of Eden. Now, now your twirls here are most interesting. What is going on here? Nicholas, is that the way you see yourself? You can't tell me your only self-image is a black square with squiggles. <laughs> Who are you supposed to be? Uh, uh, look, I don't know. Uh, look, I, I really don't know which way to go. I was having a look at Donna's... I'm beginning to get a little worried about you, Nicholas. Look, I'll try. I just like doing landscapes, that's all. said an impression of yourself. Well, what's he got to do with our little theme, my dear? Remember, take it easy, don't rush. On the other hand, don't go to sleep either. Gently with the paint, ease it on. Lead with the brush, don't shove it, sonny. Only you children would remember what I keep saying. I wouldn't have to sound like a broken record, would I? Gently, ah, Nicholas, genius, genius.
Nicholas, control yourself. You mustn't. I can do better. I mean, what's the point? What are you doing? No, no, no you mustn't. Not now. Why don't you give me back my board? Get back. What's the matter with you? Nicholas, give her back the painting. Well, not if she's going to destroy it. Calm down. Cut him off at the door. Okay, so you like my painting. You can have it. Just leave him alone and let him have it. Let him have it, all right. I will not have this behavior in my class. Okay, I'm leaving. I'll bring you my fee next week. You put that down. And don't bother to come back. Let's tie him up. Look, everybody, just leave him alone and let him keep it. <laughs> yeah. Hey, go on, get out. You, you, you. Oh, Clear the door. Get back. Get out of my way. Bloody hell. He's everywhere. Really? Oh, he's interrupted, Kevin. Boo! Oh. 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 Get him, oh. shut oh. up. Oh. You have to oh. grab him. What's the yard? I make some coffee. Back in ten minutes. You're a pal. I know. Oh, you useless fuck the fuck of a rat! never turned up. Liz! Well, who do you think it was? I live here too. Hey, but I live in here. Come on, out, out! Wait! I can't, darling. Come on, move it. No! Please, I'm as musty as old socks. Oh, good, the fruitcake's back. Oh, get out of the bed. Piss off! Come on, darling, I'm freezing. Ah, oh, forget him. Come on, coffee's ready. You said you cared about it, you mongrel.
We've got to find out what he's doing. Are you having a bloody fit? It's none of your business. Get out of here. Go on. Quick, call the cop. No. All right, I will. There's only one way to deal with the fruitcake. Oh, jeez, that's all right. All right. No, come on, please. Let's talk about it. I'll finish my shower somewhere else. What? You've got to be kidding. You're right. Bringing the cops is a waste of time. I'm going to call a nut house. That's enough. It sure is. I said enough. Put it down. Put it down. He's working something out. I know it. Yeah. The fastest way to the loony bin. Where are you going? <sighs> Nick, I love you. What's the point? I can have a shower on my own heart. <laughs> it's me, Nick. Have you got a sack? How wonderful. Look at you. Come in. Come in. Is that all you've got with you? It's all I need. What are you looking for? What's going on? Right? Right? What's wrong? Nick? Sorry, I didn't know you wanted to. I'll put some coffee on. Nick, what's happening? You all right? You bastard! I'll kill you! I promise I'll kill you! Nick! Nick! Oh, my God! Nick! Nick! You all right? It's me, Howie! It's okay! only one infinitesimal part of your existence. It's exciting. It's easier to, to break away for a couple of minutes than it is to change a wife or a job. Anyway, I don't want to lose Liz. It's only we could 
make a few changes. What about your attempt so far? Has it been easy? No. No, and hasn't paid off either, has it? Look, you've got to work a mature solution with Liz. After all, she's the one you're going to spend the rest of your life with, isn't she? Of course. OK, then. Everything's gone a bit. And this fast food bar girl gives you a lift. All right, then. Let's put that down to body functions. Now it's time Look, to... I didn't have a function, did I? Everything would be a right mess if you did. That's not the point. Let me finish. This business affects Liz. So talk to her. I can't. I mean, share it with her. Communicate. No wonder she's thumping on the bathroom door. Talk it through. You might be surprised. Look, you're so understanding, you tell her. It's no good coming from me. Look, you confronted Donna, didn't you? Well? <laughs> oh, what about that art class, eh? <laughs> I must have thought I was nuts. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be right there, okay? I'm back. It looks like it. Say the other it's day. okay, Nick. Oh, no, no, you don't. I'm going to tell you whether you like it or not. Nick, it's all right. No. I want to tell you the whole lot together, okay? It's all right because Howard rang me just after you left. What? Well, he was worried for us, that's all. <sighs> well, you were going to tell me, weren't you? I was. Betty's upset now. Boy, has she cheesed off. Look, I just want to talk. I'm glad. Well, let's talk. Oh, look at you. A country squire stole your girl. He told you that bit too, eh? Mm-hmm. Mm. I'd hate to think that Howie was the only one you could confide in. I've only just worked it out for myself. We have to talk more. I can't have you half drowning yourself every time you feel let down. I'm all right now. Oh, some of my friends are back. Yes, um, I thought we could put them up on the wall again. What? Up against that nightmare? <laughs> you 
kidding. As a matter of fact, um, there is something I'd like to explain to you. That wallpaper, I was, um, I was trying to get at you, trying to shake you off a bit. I'm sorry. We'll take it down tomorrow. Maybe it wouldn't have worked anyway. Well, of course it wouldn't. Come on. You go and have a shower. You're not oh. going to be with those dirty feet. <laughs> and don't, um... Yeah. I'm all right. All right. Truce. Truce? Do you know what time it is? Oh, you go on without me, Howie. I've got a fair bit to catch up on. Well, we've all got to grow up sometime. Good for you. Good for you. Thought you were still here. Wonders will never cease. I don't like a backlog any more than you do, Mr Loftus. Before you say it, I'm not doing overtime. This is on me. I think you could be just a little bit too late, Mr. Bailey. The boss wants a word. Now. Well, couldn't he wait till tomorrow morning? Now? You don't seem to be too happy here these days, old son. Am I right? <clears throat> I could deny that, couldn't I? Come on, Nick. You're not a type of slings bull. All right, then. I'm not too happy.
What about our new branch office in Brisbane? Brisbane? Yes, Brisbane. <laughs> Brisbane. How about it? I suppose I should tell you what transpired in there, Mr. Loftus. Well, I'll find out about it sooner or later. Suit yourself. <laughs> <laughs> 